The idea of electrometallurgy must be way too obvious to you by now. Supply of electrical energy to create chemical change. It's as simple as what you've explored earlier in electrolysis, electroplating, refining, what not. Largely, electrometallurgy is used to extract pure metal forms of highly reactive metals from their salts. Salts either taken in their molten state or in their aqueous solutions. Appropriate electrolytes are taken, appropriate electrodes are taken and the electrodes can either be participative or non-participative. In other words, active or inert electrodes. And the right amount of electrical energy is supplied so that electron transfer can take place. At the cathode or the negative electrode, there is a supply of electrons to a chemical species. In other words, a chemical substance gains electrons or reduction takes place. And at the anode, which is the positive electrode, there is a removal of electrons from a chemical species. In other words, a chemical species loses electrons or oxidation takes place. In the electrolytic cell, circuit completion takes place indirectly through the electrolyte. Additives could be added into the electrolyte to create certain favorable conditions. There are essentially four categories of process within electrometallurgy. Electro-winning, electro-refining, electro-plating and electro-forming. Largely, these are all electro-plating processes in different scales. Now, all of these processes are useful or specifically electro-refining is useful as a straightforward and economical process of refining or purification of non-ferrous metals. Recap on S-Block in electrochemistry tells us that highly reactive elements are extracted in their refined form using electrometallurgical processes. These metals are said to be electro-1.